it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is, um, I don't actually know what this is called. Let me just have a look at the uh, Capuino. It's called Sparacher... Yeah, something. Don't know. It sounds foreign. It's probably German. That's probably not the whole word. So, um, really, I don't know. I've never loaded this before, never played it, don't know anything about it. Let's type run and see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, I have no idea what happens if we just type... Okay. Um. <laughs> so it's some kind of clock. Um. Okay then. I suppose at the start you put in the current time and then it keeps the time. Look at that, you've got a little second hand thing going around. Holy cow, did you hear that? It it spoke, kind of, badly, so you can hear what it sounds like. Sampled speech or, or synthesized speech on a Commodore PET. I mean I don't know what it said, I couldn't really make it out. And maybe it was in German. Um Yeah. Okay, well this is going to be a very short video, obviously, um, but I think I will upload it because it is, um, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, it's just interesting, I guess. This exists on the Commodore PET. Um, I don't know what I'll entitle the video because I, I, I don't even know what that word is. Some kind of clock pro, speaking clock. That'll be what it is, won't it? Sparature, is that something? Speaking clock, we'll call it that. Yeah, okay. Did you hear that? That's just cool. Okay, thank you for watching. Hello. Today's question is from Lego Grand Prix. Link down below to his channel. He's got um, loads of videos of stop motion Lego Grand Prix, really, um, depictions of, I don't know if it's every year, but the last one I looked at was 2018 Hungarian Grand Prix in stop motion Lego. Cool. Um, anyway, his question is, do you like F1 again, or the way it's going to? Um, do I like it again? No. <laughs> is the short answer and the way it's going I I can't actually comment on the way it's going because I've stopped watching thing is I have watched Formula One since I was a kid um, I mean I first saw it in the 70s um, James Hunt racing Nicky Lauda I watched those races um, and loved them and then I had a period where I didn't watch and then got back into it in the 80s um, Nigel Mansell kind of era and watched it ever since um, but after the death of Ayrton Senna it got fairly crap um, they pushed safety understandable but they pushed it so far that they took all of the excitement out of it I mean yes they took a lot of the risk out of it and that was necessary because people were dying but it just got crap. Some of the things they did in the name of safety were stupid, like the 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 tires with the um well, not exactly tread, but you know ridges in them that, that they wouldn't grip, so the cars couldn't go fast around the corners and couldn't overtake and it just got crap. Uh, you would get whole races that were just a procession of cars, and no one overtook anyone except maybe in the pits. That was rubbish and I got pretty bored and this went on for some time um, things have improved since then they, they've been fiddling about with the format a lot over the years and sometimes for better and sometimes for worse um, it does get tedious when you've got one driver or one one manufacturer that is 
so dominant that it's like there's never a question of who's going to win. Um, you're just watching to see who comes second or third. Um, it has been, I don't know, has it been better of late? Maybe. Certainly races have been more unpredictable, which helps. But this year, in fact, well, the past couple of years, it, basically Sky. When Sky TV got in on the act and, and half of the races were on, like, a pay channel that I'm not paying for, um, it got a bit crap. You know, you could only see highlights of half of the races um, later in the day and quite often you would see the result before you watch the race. If you're on Twitter, and I'm on Twitter a lot, I, the number of times I saw the result was like, oh, well, what's the point of watching the highlights now? Um, but now, Sky, next season, have got the whole lot. And all we're going to get on, on terrestrial TV is going to be highlights. So that's it. It's like, I quit. I'm not watching anymore. I have stopped. I stopped watching this year. I stopped watching this season when the World Cup was on. It was like a choice. Watch the World Cup or watch a Grand Prix. Well, the World Cup won because it was exciting. I don't normally give a damn about football, but... I was enjoying the World Cup and really I was feeling thoroughly indifferent towards Grand Prix. So when the World Cup finished, I then heard that Sky are taking over the whole thing next year and I was just like, do you know what, I don't care who wins this year, I'm not interested anymore, I'm not watching. So um, whatever other changes may be happening in the sport, if you can call it that, because it's getting a bit like WWEF wrestling, sports entertainment. Uh, it's all about putting on a good show, but really, how much of it is sport, how much of it is genuine competition, how much of it is fiddling and tinkering around with technologies and stuff that... I don't know. Yeah. Um, am I watching it? Do I like how it's going? No and no. Uh, I, I've given up. And it's sad, because I've watched it most of my life, and... You know, I'm not a sports fan, for the most part, don't care about sport, but I've always considered myself a Formula One Grand Prix fan. Now, gone, done, finished, quite sad. Lego Grand Prix is, on the other hand, cool. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for watching. Oh, before I go, yes, if I haven't said, no, you know I've said many times, but I'll keep saying it just for newcomers. If you've got a question that you would like answered in a video like this, just leave a comment in this video or any following video saying for Q&A and any question. And um, I'm probably going to answer every single one of them. I'm working on it. Okay, thank you for watching. Yes, Your Majesty, it would be... What the bloody hell? Okay, which smart-ass big to subscribe button to the teleporter?